My lovers, welcome to my channel. My name is Made for Love and today we're going to look at what's the karmic cooking. So what's the karmic um, been up to and what's their intentions um, with regard to you um, and your person and your connection. All right. Um, in the extended, we are going to, depending on what we find, we are going to look at at what might be happening in the comics environment that's driving these energies um how are they seeing your person at this time like how are they perceiving your person um at this time what do they know about you and um, we're going to get some guidance from the ancestors and then what i will do i will do a twin energy or higher level soulmate clearing because i think somebody in my comments was asking me to do um a clearing so i will do a clearing for high level soulmates um twin flame connection um using um srt okay all right so let us begin uh the first thing we're going to do we're going to see who we're tapping into here all right so who is this karmic? Because, you know, sometimes we have multiple karmics in our lives. It could be an intimate partner of our person. It could be their family members, friends. It could be their boss, um, that kind of thing. So let's see who we're tapping into. It could even be somebody directly in your circle of awareness, your, your circle of trust. But this reading is rarely for if your person... Um, has someone, if there's a third party in your connection. Okay. All right. So what we have underneath the deck is the destroyer. And they are the destroyer because they want to they wanna get you to heal. Um, they want to have control over you. It feels like they may not be having control in the rest of their life. But for you, um, they want to destroy and Correct me if I'm wrong, but in the last What's the Karmic Cooking, this is the card that came out, isn't it? The, I'm pretty sure that this is the card that came out. So they want to destroy whatever you are trying to grow. And it's going to be their way of harassing and trying to control you. This is interesting. All right, let's get, let's see who we're tapping into here. Oh, just as an aside, I still have spots on the 29th, 30th, and 31st um, for readings. And I also have a What's the Karmic Cooking reading on my website if you want to have a personal one done. All right, so um, let's see what's going on here. But we get the Karmic as Destroyer. All right, who we're tapping into here? We have a clown. All right, so... What I get with clown is kind of like the energy of the fool. But um, the fool is usually what we call the wise fool, right? He's taking a leap of faith because he's trusting his instincts. But this person here as the clown or the jester, this is someone who is immature and it's someone who is impulsive, okay? Um, it feels they're feeling kind of a little triggered at this time. It come, look how much yellow. Um, is in this card, and that's solar plexus chakra, which is our trigger center. So this is someone, the kind of reckless, kind of immature, kind of impulsive at this time. They could also be in the energy of that class clown, and we have to realize that, you know, those students, because I used to be a teacher, that embody in the class clown is because they're not getting the kind of attention and support that they require at home. So they're trying to grab your attention as teacher um, in the classroom. They want someone to pay attention to them. They have issues that they may not feel confident confiding in others. So they try to get your attention in different ways. So this may be, might be somebody who's trying to get your attention, anybody's attention, um, because there are issues in their environment that's kind of overwhelming them um, at this time. So we have the clown. So, so they want your attention. All right. Um, we have the God. All right. So this is someone with a God complex, right? Um, it's someone who wants to control. It's someone who wants to control, right? Um, again, kind of narcissist vibes. 
um, out of this, this particular card. So it's, it's someone who's accustomed to being on top of the world. They're accustomed to having people pay attention to them. But it looks like these days, people may not be paying attention to them. They might not be enjoying the kind of validation, the external validation that they enjoyed before. So now they want to get your attention. Okay. They not, may, may not be getting the attention of their partner. So you're on the list. <laughs> All right. We have the paladin. So this is also someone um, who is in some sort of quest. Okay. But if you notice, the sword of truth is down. So it's an ill-guided quest. All right. Um, they are fighting for something. They are defending something. I'll pull some cards and see what they're fighting or defending um, at this time. But it's not something that's based on the truth of the situation. It is their skewed version um, of events. And then we have the Earth Mother. So this could be a mother energy. It could be a person's mother. Um, if your person has children, it might be the mother of their children. Um, it is someone who may have a mother wound, who may have a mother wound. And maybe that's why they might be attracted to you because some of our twins comics are attracted to us, um, in both sexual and non-sexual ways. Um, and it's because of this mother wound that they have here and the energy of the empress reaches out to them right so let's have let's clarify some of these but that's what i was getting intuitively and it's kind of strange how that works um well it shouldn't be strange um because if they are attracted to your twin they are going to be attracted to you. There are about three women that like my brother. Now, my my eldest brother and I were very close, and we used to tell people that we were twins. Like, I, we used to tell people that we were identical twins because we do look alike, right? And we're very close. And there are about three women who, um, they're attracted to him, but because he's not paying them any attention, they try to take me out. Oh, why don't you come here? Why don't you come there? Some are more overt with their advances, but it's because they like my brother. And it's the same vibration that they're getting from me. So they think, okay, well, I can't have him. So let's see. Maybe I can get as close to him as possible. It's kind of weird how that works. All right. So let's see. We have a four of swords in reverse. So this is someone, this is the energy of pain and someone who has open wounds, right? They're, they're wounded, right? So it's just like an animal striking out when they're wounded. It's the same thing. It's the same energy that we're getting here. So it's something very impulsive and impulsive is kind of dangerous because it's unpredictable. Okay. All right. So let's see the energy of the clown. All right. And uh, we have here the three of pentacles in reverse. So something has kind of broken down in their life. Um, something something that they built is a structure that they built. It's breaking down. And this is what what is unleashing um this bid for attention. Because this is what it is. It's a bid for attention. Okay. Um, three of pentacles in reverse can also talk about um an instability in one's foundation. So if you, your twin and this car built a foundation together, it looks like that foundation kind of rocky right now. Okay. Um, and they're acting out because they, they want, they want someone to pay attention to them. So the comic just wants your attention. Um, we have this God energy here and this is, this is the King of Cups. So it looks like yes, the King of Cups in reverse, and the King of Cups in reverse is the covert narcissist, right? They want attention, but they don't want people to know that they want attention. So they try to manipulate people in order to get attention, 
in order to get their needs met. So they don't want to admit that they, they have needs or that they're feeling vulnerable. So they do all kinds of little things to manipulate people. And they're like a little puppet master in the background, right? But they don't care what they have to do once everybody's attention is on numero uno, right? Now let's see this energy of the paladin. Um, we have the three of cups in reverse and that's what I was telling you about an ill-guided quest because they are fighting for something okay I, I don't know we don't know what they're fighting for just yet. I'll, I'll try to figure it out right they are fighting for something but they're not doing it from a place of heart they're doing it from um, a place of wanting to numb, up, to numb out um, a place of apathy um, a place of unhappiness Right, so they're not seeing the truth clearly, right? This is just all the wounding that they are projecting onto um, this quest that they have going on. Let's ask for it. But what is this quest? I'm like, oh, what, what is this? We have the four of wands in reverse. Yeah, the four of wands in reverse. And what is this? This is the Ace of Swords. So it feels like if your person was in a relationship or they were married or there's some kind of committed relationship, it looks like that is being deconstructed or broken right now. Um, and they're not seeing the truth of that. They're not seeing the truth of that. Um, they're not see they're not taking accountability. Yes. For the the part that they played in that. They're not. They can't see the truth of it. So they may be blaming you for the things that may not be going well in their life. And that's why they're in this fighting spirit. Spirit, what's this energy of the Earth Mother that's coming out here for this person? Ten of Cups in reverse. I'm um, this person just wants to be loved. Um, they did not come from a family that was supportive, loving, kind. Could express love. They didn't come um, from that. Okay. And that's why they're always trying to get everybody's attention. I don't think the attention of your person... Or even the attention of you is enough for this person. They want everybody's attention, right? When they walk into a room, they have to be the life of the party. All eyes has to be on them. And that's the only way they feel good. And that's because they never got that love and support um, when they were young. So now that it looks like they're not getting that love and support now, this person is acting out. All right, so let's see now. Um, so this is the energy general, <laughs> this is the energy generally, right? Let's ask spirit for two cards, um, with regard to their energy towards you. So right now they're just, they're just acting out generally and not just with you, with everybody. Um, we have the warrior. So they're in fighter mode, right? They're in fighter mode. Um, they perceive that you are trying to take away something that is theirs and they are going to defend it, right? brave heart right um this is their truth so they're in warrior mode what else do we have here and uh, we also have the messenger so expect this person to reach out for some of you they will reach out um in your dreams so if you have any dreams or if you've been having any dreams lately about the comic this is them reaching out and for others you can expect a text message or pop-up coming your way right because this person is fighting for their life and the life that they have created with your person all right so let's let's see what's going on here let's see the emotions that are driving this energy Because some of you may not be able to come to the extended to see um, what's been happening in their life that's driving this. So this, looking at the energy, might give us a clue. 
one of the emotions that are driving this energy that we're seeing here. So we see somebody who's triggered. Lots of yellow all in these cards. Someone who's triggered, someone who's impulsive. Um, at this time, what is driving this energy? And in spirit saying it's the energy of self-sabotage. Right? So they are they have pushed they have pushed the self-destruct button. So this is also someone who may need to be professionally monitored at this time because this is someone that doesn't give a fuck anymore. Okay? And when people don't give a fuck, they can do anything. So they are in some sort of self-destruct here. Just feeling kind of sad, to be honest. Right, what's driving this energy? We, we, we spoke about it already. And this person is just numb. Okay? Um, they're trying to detach from their emotions and the, the reality and what's happening in their life. So what they're going to do, they're going to distract themselves um, with you. Um, and trying to create some sort of tension, um, some sort of drama um, with you there. We have codependent, okay? So this is someone who doesn't love themselves, and that's why they need all that external validation from everybody, from everybody. So I wouldn't be surprised if this person um, may have cheated on your person because the energy or the attention of one person is never going to be enough. Until this person really heals themselves and really loves themselves, the, atten the attention of one person isn't going to be enough. They have to have the attention of everybody. We have victim mode. So yeah, this is how they have to, this is how they're able to live with themselves day to day. They have to paint themselves um, as the victim. Um, and this again is what's driving this energy, right? They are the victim. Um, and they're fighting for their life. They f and they think that this warrior energy just coming towards you, um, trying to get your attention, is a solution um, to whatever issue they might be going through um, at this time. All right, let's pull cards on these. Spirit, what's this energy of numb? Um, we have... The wheel of fortune right so something has ended in their life i'm not sure what it is now this could even be a loss okay um for some of them it may be um well someone in their family or their circle has transitioned or i don't know i'm getting a feeling of a miscarriage as well yeah yes that's what i felt right so there's this big loss that they're going through um, right now. Um, this energy of codependency, what's this? Um, we have the four of pentacles, you know. Um, and that's why they're so guarded. Um, and why people aren't really able to tap into their true, to who they truly are. Because they don't show their inner self to most of the people around them. They're always on stage acting, right? Nobody really knows the true them because the true them um, is someone who's incredibly insecure and is always feeling like they're not good enough. Now, they've painted themselves um, to be the victim in this circumstance. We have here the King of Wands and this is what's driving um, their action. The King of Wands about action. And then we also have the Ace of Cups. So they're trying to renew um, as well their relationship. And it looks like part of that um, might be, and I was going to say it, and I saw the card underneath the deck, and this is the Five of Wands, part of that might be eliminating the competition. So that's why they might want to come forward and talk to you, etc., etc. Because they believe this is a solution. They have to um, get rid of of um this soulmate which is you um in order for their relationship with your person to work so whether this karmic is an intimate partner or a parental energy or even a boss they think that the key for everything to work is getting rid of you eliminating you from the equation <clears throat> mm. silencing you 
I don't know. My voice is going. All right. So let's ask directly. What are they cooking up? I shouldn't put this back. What are they cooking up with regard to you? What are they cooking up? What are they planning with regard to you? What are they planning? All right. We have... This looks like a Queen of Cups in reverse. All right. Now, the Queen of Cups in reverse, they're emotionally manipulative. So they may reach out, um, pretending to be the victim, histrionics, the whole nine yards. But the Queen of Cups, in her upright aspect, she is a psychic. So the Queen of Cups in reverse may also be um, the practitioner that's not using their energy for good all right so there might be something spiritual that they might be planning so i'm glad i'm giving you guys that clarity there what else is happening um we have the seven of pentacles in reverse so for some of them they may want to affect or attack and it's close to that um <clears throat> let's let's call it the, the distorted high priestess Let's call it that, right? As next to that distorted high priestess. So for some of them, they might be doing things to affect your money and your investments. Um, we have the six of wands in reverse. Um, if some of you guys are close to a particular accomplishment, they may be trying to sabotage that. So if you have a project that's about to be launched or you're about to get a promotion or you're about to graduate or something like that, um, they are trying to um, affect that, cause your downfall in some way. They want you to fall from grace because they have fallen from grace. I'll be interested to see um, what's happening in their life that's pushing these energies. And then we have the two of swords. So what they want to create as well is conflict. Conflict between you and your person. Conflict in your work. Conflict in your family. And it feels like they might be trying to do that energetically. But for others, they're going to bring the drama to you. Right? They're going to be bold um, and bring the drama to you. Um, like personally. Right? They'll personally bring that. Um, let's ask spirit. What wounding is driving all of this? Is this bid for attention? Them not loving themselves? Blah, blah, blah. What's the core wounds that's driving all of this? And you may want to ask why. Why do we care? But remember, the karmic is always reflecting back to you, a part of yourself that may still need work. So if, if one of their core wounds is that they don't love themselves, it means then that there might also be work that you need to do um, with regard to that. Underneath the deck, we have the energy of envy, right? So this person is envious. This is one of their core wounds. And envy always comes from a place of inferiority, all right? So they're envious of you, what you've accomplished, your relationship with your person. They're envious. So you also have to ask yourself, where in your life you might be envious of others. Um, we have the energy of superficial. All right. So this person, you know, even within their own self, they don't think that they are deep enough or have enough depth to sustain our relationship and the, the reason why they think that is because they've not delved deep into themselves to figure out who they really are they think they are this life of the party um you know they might be some sort of socialite that kind of thing and that's the be all and end all of who they are but it's not and i think they're very envious of the depth and maybe the depth of connection and conversation that you have with your person What's driving all of this? Right? So it's the life unexamined. Uh, unexamined. 
we have secretive right um they they are wearing the mask so the other thing that um is driving this energy is that they're envious of how you are able to live your life authentically and openly whilst they have to hide behind a, a persona that they have curated and then we have haunted so they have all their inner demons that they have not been paying attention to you went through that you went through that fire of facing all your fears facing your past facing your inner demons and you're still doing it and will it will always be a life's work right but at least now you have the tools to deal with it and to deal with the triggers that are coming but they this is as i said the life unexamined right they've never delved deep into who they are so they don't know who they are and maybe they have closely identified themselves with this life that they have created with your person this is their identity therefore if their person leaves who are they who am i this is what this person is asking who am i okay all right so if you're able join me in the extended and we're going to look at what's happening in this person's life that might be driving these energies but i think we we got a, a fair idea but we're going to get some clarity around that um we're going to look at so what's happening in their environment we're going to look at what's happening um in their relationship that's driving that we're looking at how are they seeing your person right now how are they perceiving your person um what do they know about you and then we will do um that clearing for your connection um but if you can't join me in the extended let's get this advice from spirit what spirit advice spirit saying grace and gratitude through gratitude joy expands spirit saying don't even take on this person okay don't pay don't pay them any mind their attention any attention this is their issue that they have to deal with spirit saying you just be grateful continue to be grateful for the life that you have the life that you're enjoying um, at this time and then you just you just see your borders expand you know we have here breaking trail a breakthrough is at hand all right so it looks like there's resolutions there's some sort of issue here or if you feel like you've been you know swimming upstream and upstream with regard to a particular issue whether it's this whether it's at work or something in your family spirit is saying there is a breakthrough that is at hand for you okay all right so let's see let's look at this breaking ground card oh, here it is breaking trail sorry a breakthrough is at hand you're at the beginning of a breakthrough everything you've been doing for the past few years has been preparation for what's ahead there are instances when the path isn't clean ahead and in those moments sometimes you need to break trail in your life it may seem that the path disappears however the only way to reach your destination is to push through keep going do things in a new way imagine a woman giving birth it's hard but through her efforts through her great efforts a baby comes into being something new and exciting is coming into your life and the sacred traveler wants you to know it's not about following the path ahead but creating your own trail so this is a, a dear to be different and a dear to think outside of the box kind of thing um, it says it's time to stop standing on the edge of life and just take a leap <laughs> Gosh, I felt that. Your patience is going to pay off. All the limitations and inner blockages are dropping away. Don't let fear keep you from moving forward. This is truly the time to allow yourself to experience the fear, but do it anyway. Something for which you've waited a long time is about to come to fruition. Don't be afraid to jump in with both feet your efforts will help create a trail for others so spirit is saying 
um, you're going to be called to really take a leap of faith in something pretty soon, right? And it's something that you've been waiting on for a long time. Spirit saying, don't let all fears try to sabotage you. Just do it anyways, you know? And um, maybe this is also guidance for um, the karmics as well. Like, don't let all fears, you know, keep you in toxic so or codependent cycles. If there's something that's deconstructing now, it's deconstructing for your highest good, you know? Just go with the flow. And that's the advice for you too. If something is deconstructing, it's happening for your highest good and just let it. All right. All right, my love. So that was your reading. I hope that that was helpful. Take care.